using that, I don't say, you know, um, these are the cutoffs or anything, but I tell them that um, our GPA for applicants and MCAT um, were X last year just for applicants. And then yeah. the people invited to interview, people admitted, and then those who matriculated. And I, I don't say, you know, you have to have a, a 3.93 to get an interview. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. I don't say you have to have a 521 to get an interview. But at the same time, they know that if someone is in the 50th percentile on the MCAT, that, you know, that's not as competitive. We've got too many extremely qualified just by the numbers, but their job is to look and say, okay, um, we know when the, the, the people who come to Hopkins are campus leaders yeah. as undergraduates, because that's who they are when they come to Hopkins as well. And one of the things we think we do a good job is, is training people to be medical leaders. Um, and so we take advantage of that and look for people who've had, been in leadership positions, we also know we're, we're a great place for anyone who's interested in serving the public. That is something you can definitely do in Baltimore and because they get out in the community and we want them to be comfortable with that, familiar with that. And uh, we're a great place to learn um, that. I mean, you know, one of the things people don't realize about Hopkins, it's a great place for primary care training. Um, and we have a primary care leadership program we know that our students who do that program will be leaders of primary care, teaching primary care, not just seeing patients, but actually teach at major academic institutions. Um, and, and, and so we, we look for people who we think are going to be these future leaders in medicine.